Hang on. <laughs> I poked a hole in my cup of water right when I went live and I picked it up and guess what? <laughs> water everywhere. So, fun times. I have a bit of a mess to clean up when I'm done. So, hello everybody. I hope that the stream is going okay. I'm outside. I'm under like the carport thingy. So, let me know if you're there, if you can see me and hear me okay. Hey. Oh, I really do. I have like a little lake now in my cup holder because I poked the hole right through it. Good morning, everybody. I, yeah. What a way to start, right? Okay, <laughs> I've been out this morning and um, going to some garage sales and estate sales. I picked up a few things yesterday, so I thought I would come on. I haven't done a video in a couple days, which is unusual for me because I normally do videos pretty much every day. But we've been taking, you know, I've been taking a little bit of a break. So anyway, that's what's been going on. So let me share with you what I picked up yesterday and then what I picked up today. So yesterday, oh, where are you, Wilton Magnolia? Thank you. Yeah, we. I, I don't know, I just needed a little break and yeah, anyway. So yesterday I picked up, I told you guys, I always pick these up, these little organizers. These were 50 cents each. Got a couple of those, they're always handy. So picked up those yesterday. And then at the same garage sale, I got some jewelry and most of it was, Gosh, I think I spent about $12 for all of this. So this baggie has got, you can't really see that, can you? That's why you're here, not to see a baggie and just say, here's some stuff. So good morning, hey. Okay, so first up in this little baggie, most of these baggies were about a buck. Hi, hi. Wow, some new names and faces there, you guys. Welcome, thanks for coming. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. I only see one. I like it whether you do it or not, but anyway, it's nice. Okay, so these are some sterling silver peace sign earrings. That was in that bag. And hang on, I've got some more. Oh, thank you, there they go. Then there were, there was quite a few in here. So it's some more little sterling silver earrings with, they're kind of like a Celtic knot drop look. Then these ones, which are unusual, but what I think, so it's got like this little amber looking piece on their leather. Hi, Lydia. And then, yeah, I don't know. So they're just different. I did get the cat painting, Debbie. I'll show you. <laughs> so yeah, these are unusual. And then also, if I can get these straightened out, these ones that are like blue, one of them's kind of twisted around. Okay, so that was all in one little baggie. You had a hard time? I. I kind of did today, so all that was in that bag. I, I found enough though, so I'm I'm okay. But I feel like I drove around and looked at a ton of ton of garage sales today, but didn't find a lot. And some I went to that said they had jewelry on their ad. Then I got there, and then they didn't. I'm like okay, so then there were these ones, which are cute. Oh, my guys are pulling in, so I might have to say hey for a second. <laughs> they went to a Lego store. Okay, these were another one. I, Cause yeah, it was like twelve dollars or twelve fifty for all of this with those plastic tubs from yesterday. Then there were these. Look at these beauties. So those ones. And here's the back, like so. So I can't really read them, but they say sterling on them, so that's good. There's those. Let's see if my guys are gonna. <laughs> He's looking at me through the window. Um. Okay. Then I got a little watch. We've been learning more about watches me and the kids <laughs> they just pulled up yeah all right so there's oh you can't see that you know what i did buy though a magnifier <laughs> so this is going to go on my table when i finally have one to put in you know ah, right so i can see what this is this is a it's a seiko quartz watch right there <laughs> like he's making faces at me through the window so all right then I told him just give me a minute and then I'll, I'll be in also in there was and I know I'm not saying prices of what I'm gonna sell it for I try to guesstimate but then it, I don't know <laughs> I don't know I have started I made my Etsy store live again so slowly but surely I'm getting um, more listings like live what I decided to do was I put on Etsy 
you know how you can categorize all of your things in, in Etsy into like folders? So what I did was I put everything into one and then I'm just, as I take it out and put it into the correct folder, that'll mean I'm ch I've checked it and everything because it's very daunting to go through all your listings. But I have put up my lots again. So I've started selling lots again. So there's this necklace, or bracelet rather. It's got a little Mexico charm on it. It's got the Aztec calendar, I think, on the back. And then like so. Oh yay, I'm so glad you caught me live. Okay, and then there's the stamp on it. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Again, this is all still from yesterday. I guess I got some good stuff yesterday. <laughs> there's this really cute brooch. No marking on it, that's okay though. And they're walking past. <laughs> All right, then we've got this little brooch that has been painted, a little painted flower. I don't know what kind of, I mean, it kind of looks like a rose. Um, I sell jewelry on both, on eBay and Etsy. My shops have been on vacation for a while because I've been in the process of moving. So we're still, we close on our house Friday. We've been in this apartment for a while, so I'm ready. I'm so ready. Okay, then I got these two little, they're, they're brooches. Right, but they look like little carriages, really cute. So like so. Well, I guess I got a good deal. <laughs> All right, and then this, look at this beauty. All right here, that's a big, giant, beautiful brooch. And I don't see a maker's mark on it, which is unusual, because it's super cool. My shops, um, Texas Gal Treasures everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Yep, it's that's it, Texas Gal Treasures. And then here's a little rickshaw guy. I know that brooch, right, Debbie? Uh, okay, so, got some more stuff here. Let's see. Got a bracelet. Now, some of these things, if I decide, like, I don't want to sell them um, solo, they'll, they'll be something that goes into one of my mystery boxes or, you know, a lot that I might make out. Magno, thanks. <laughs> okay, then we've got this necklace, which is a little silver necklace with it's a... Just a little, it's kind of nautical, I guess, like a wheel, a steering wheel on a boat. Yep. And then I'll just leave these in there because you can see them. These earrings, like so. Wow, I didn't realize how much I got yesterday. Okay, it's cool. Then this is, yeah, okay. I was thinking, is it is it a belt? No, it's. I think it's too little to be a belt. And then this one is... Oh gosh, come on now. Uh, oh, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> um, this symbol, oh my gosh, I always get some of these mixed up because Kendra Scott's looks kind of like this, but then there's another one. There's a Tory Burch that looks kind of like this, but that's not that. There's another one. Okay, I can't keep up with, they, with all the, what they are. I have to like go back and look. I have to go look. All right, and then this one's got two little bracelets in it like so. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, some little black danglies that look like little, so they're not vintage, but they have that vintage look. So, and again, not marked. I feel like I'm flying through this. How are you guys doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time with my kids trying to just focus on them for a bit. All right, so here's some that has this kind of chipped turquoise in there and they are set in I can't tell if that says alpaca or if it's just silver it's got the silver tarnish to it though hang on ah fancy I've got something coming out like I still can't see wait what does it say I can't even read it let's get that light on um yeah I can't read it it's kind of smeared. You know what a stamp looks like it's been smeared? You know what I'm talking about? This one says mm -mm, TM05. I don't even know. I'll have to get a better look at it later. So my eyes. But I do have something in on the way, but I'll show you later. As far as new magnet goes. I'm excited about it. Alright, so here were two more brooches. Um and y'all, where's my nickel jar? I keep saying, um, too. It's driving me bananas. I'm sure it's driving you bananas, too. 
or you hadn't noticed till now, but now you'll notice. <laughs> so yeah, I got some butterfly brooches. They tend to do pretty well. And this funky flower, isn't that cool? Funky flower. And y'all are awfully quiet, makes me wonder. Is the stream coming through okay? Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Some more little, so, so lots of silver actually. So a little silver with some black stone in there. You found me on Etsy, but not eBay. eBay's Texas Gal Treasures. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, it's, I don't know if it's because I'm on vacation on eBay still or not. So I, I'm there somewhere. I have an eBay store. I pay the fees every month for it. Better have it. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. Um, Okay. Oh, you're transfixed by the shinies. Okay, good. And I think that just says China on the back. It says 925 China. So, now, are you good? Good. Um, I'll still check even like, okay, so here's the deal. Like, even if something says that it's silver, I still test it. I still check it, you know. So, this is 925 China. I'll still test it to make sure it's silver. Um, because stamps are cheap stamps are cheap so then we've also got this this is tangled so I didn't take the time to detangle it or anything these are some necklaces I think there's three necklaces here so there's this one that has the little balls on it hi um I uh, my eBay shop has been on vacation for a little while a month or two because of all the moving and the stress and everything so I've got a simple like silver chain here. I've got a silver chain with the balls here. And then I've got this silver chain that has a, I think it's, oh, what does it say? Let's see if I can read it with this thing. It says, Perkamen? I can't read that. Something Valley High. And on the back, Junior Senior Prom 1980. Ta-da. So there's that. And then it's some cat brooches. So again, figural stuff. I like picking up figural stuff. Some cat brooches in there. All right, so that's all this stuff from yesterday. Bought a 13, wait, 11.3 gram signet ring. Oh, good, good. All right, and then let me show you what I got today. Uh-oh, did you fall into the water? I had something fall into the water. If you just got here, I poked a hole in my cup right as I went live. So that was fun. Do you ever sell broken lots for crafts? I do. I have some up uh, or some that have sold and then I have some just kind of mystery lots up, but I have I do. It just kind of depends. So, and I'm planning on doing more lots when I move because I've got quite an inventory of stuff. So, there's <laughs> and I've already weeded it out, so the, it just yeah, it just is. Again, some little silver earrings and they're stamped on the back somewhere. No, I can't see it. So there's those. Okay, let's see what I got today. Today, okay, you get to come up here. Um, oh, good, Melissa. Eat some cinnamon bun for me. Okay, I got this today. This is cool and covered in cobwebs. Rrr. That's how you know it's so cool. So it's a, I'm guessing it's brass maybe, but then it's got this like green from like a copper. So maybe it's a mix, mixed metal copper brass thing. So what do you think? <laughs> what do you think it is? Like it's a soap dish, right? Soap dish. But like did a candle used to go here? Or maybe that's where the cup went. And then there's also like this on the back. So what was hanging here? Maybe this was, you could hang your razor you could hang your razor through there maybe this was for i don't know so that's gonna <laughs> that's got a a towel a little towel a teeny towel i don't know i don't know so we'll figure out what this is exactly it's cool and old and cool is that a mark on the bottom uh i can't tell very steampunkish right i know my my guys are really into that now so that's why i told randy's like well if they are wanting, you know, they're, if they're still really into the steampunk, we can put that in their bathroom. Then I took this off the wall at an estate sale today. Shaving holder. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
you know I like to sell these so this one's really dusty it was on the wall in the live in the laundry room at this estate sale it hadn't been priced or anything but I was like that's coming with me because these I can get and I've actually started raising my price since I talked to Carly who's the poetry of nice because I've been selling mine for 20 25 bucks and she's like oh I've been selling mine for 30 like well okay then 30 it is so that was buck 50 a buck 50 that's one of the things that I will continue to pick up you know because I'm not selling a whole lot of big stuff as I say that let me show you this big box <laughs> because this is a big stuff I got this for four dollars now I did a ride-along today so I talked in the ride-along about this how do you get the wax out I guess you have to melt it thirty dollars <laughs> yeah exactly um I guess you'd have to get either get it hot or really cold and scrape it off. I guess it depends on the surface it's on. This is a Bombay Company. Mm, pull it out of the box. Uh, hello. It's a Bombay Company. Is that what it's called? Bombay Company? Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's a jewelry box. -da -da! And it has the key and everything with it. Like so. And this was four dollars. I bought a wood rack, but it well, it's okay. Hang on, I think I missed. I bought a wood rack. It was like green, and the paint was all like chipped. And, because some people are looking for that. They they're looking for that rustic, beat up kind of older farmhouse look. You know, they don't want it to look brand new or whatever. Because they'll probably, you know, get it and paint it and scuff it up and do all that stuff anyway. But if it's already like that, then that's a bonus. Yeah, I saw the green one. That was a, a mess. I mean, look at my Etsy solds. You can see. Well, you have to dig through them. But I think I did a video where I shared all the different ones I sold. Isn't it nice? So that was four bucks. The funny thing about this is garage sale was some of the stuff this lady sold, she wanted crazy prices. And some of it was so reasonable. So like, uh-oh, it got choppy. Are you okay? Normal? Hello. Zach, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, some of her stuff was crazy expensive and some was really reasonable. So also, so I got that for four bucks and then I got this, more some more jewelry and a little jewelry box for, I spent $12 I think with her, no, for, she gave me $6 back out of 20 so that means I spent $14, okay? <laughs> so the rest of this was 10 All right, so I got this other little jewelry box. And again, this might be something I use as a prop when I sell start selling jewelry lots. Because I've got to weed it out. i got to weed it out. So here's this cute little green cloisonne bracelet. It was $0.50. Cents. And then she had... <laughs> She had some sterling silver stuff, but she wanted like $10 a bracelet, which probably was okay, but I I didn't want to. I knew I could get cheaper. Oh, oh, I think it's because, yeah, you're seeing the reverse. Yeah, on the, I don't know why it does that. Anyway, so I got this little owl pendant necklace. Uh-oh, and then this one tangled up. Bonus hairs in there, of course. This was also there. Hang on, let me get some air. It's getting warm in here. Look at that. Isn't that a cute brooch? It is a little brooch. Like so. And there was a woman at this uh, estate or garage sale trying to buy stuff too, but she was going after all the expensive stuff. And finally she just said, you got eBay prices on all your stuff. <laughs> like, well, it's her stuff. All right, so this brooch. Is that missing a stone? Oh, it is. I just noticed that. Okay, so this will end up in a lot. I just noticed it's missing a stone right there. I wonder if it bumped off in here. It's for bathroom toothbrushes, cup, and soap. Oh, cool. Thank you. I just dropped that. So this was a buck. Look, isn't it cute? It's like a raptor of some sort. An eagle, maybe? On a chain. Again, I don't think it's... I didn't have my magnet with me. I got this. Blingy ring. Now, this one... It's kind of, I mean, for the whatever 50 cents I got it for is, is a gamble because, oh dear, low power mode. We got to hustle. I thought you were plugged in. Okay, here. So, it's worn, but I think somebody's still going to like it enough because it's big that they're going to want to buy it. And then I got this cool bracelet. I'm trying to pick it up a little bit because the, the battery wants to die. And then this... 
Oh, cool. Okay. This little kind of pixelated heart necklace, which I want to check it out closer because it it looks um, promising. I don't know. Again, I didn't have my magnet with me, but I just felt like, gosh, that looks really cool and good. So, okay, so there's that. Let me move on so that we don't die on the camera. Okay, so then I got this. This is for me. I'm keeping it. And it's this cat. Um, it looks like a pen and watercolor, maybe pencil. I can't tell 100%, but it is very old. It is signed down here. I posted it on Instagram. So that's how Debbie knew already. I shared it on Instagram, but yeah, I'm keeping this one. These cats, I just fell in love with them. This was $2. Here's the back. Let me just flip it around. There's the back of it. If you're into old frames and stuff. So, yeah. I don't know anything about it. I looked up the um, artist. It says A. Smith. I can't remember what the last word was. I had to zoom in on my phone. But, I like it. So, I'm keeping it. <laughs> then, at a crafter, there was a craft garage sale which cool I got some little letters isn't that cool I know right I am a cat lady and most of these I got for my kids because they're into I don't know they're into the steampunky stuff now and these ones might be too sparkly for them but they're sparkly letters I don't know if they don't use them I don't, who knows and then these were a dollar and they come apart. They're for beads and such. But I got quite a few of them in there. Uh, and if I can't find a use for them, my sister will. Because she's been making... You guys, a lot of you have sent like glass beads and stuff to me to give to my sister. And she makes uh, sun catchers and wind chimes and things like that. So she's been, she's been laid up. I know you guys haven't seen my sister in a little bit. She's been laid up. She's got um, hip replacement surgery on... Monday. She's finally been approved for it. So she's getting her hip, one of her hips replaced on Monday. So yay! Uh, so, but that's something she can do while she's laying there or, you know, trying to rest her hip is she can make those sun catchers. So this will help her maybe sort out some of her beads. Yeah. So that's good. My sister. And she's hoping to get the other hip replaced um, soon. So there, there's that. Yeah. She's got some, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm sure she's going to, now she won't be mad at me, but it's some sort of degenerative, like, she's got nothing in there, and that's the ball joint, you know what I mean? So it's like a degenerative disease thing for your joints. So I'm glad she's getting it replaced. So I got this. This was at an estate sale. Oh, is this the last of it? This may be. Okay. <laughs> Good, because my, my battery's going to die. So this was at this estate, so everything was half off. So this was a buck fifty. It's a little mirror, and sh the lady thought thinks that this is the woman's house who it was. Um, she hadn't passed away, but she was ninety five, and she was just she decided to, I guess, move somewhere else. Okay, then we got another butterfly brooch, super cool, and that was two bucks. And this silver and abalone ring was two bucks. I will. Thanks, Lydia. And the bummer part is I can't either this week because Rand's not going to be here. He's going to California and I can't leave the cats alone for that long. And we close on our house Friday. So her husband's taken off and her neighbor's going to help. And then I'm going up there right after we close on the house to stay. And then my dad's going to come relieve me. So we're just all going to be playing tag, <laughs> you know, to go take care of her and my nephew and everything. So that'll be good. Okay, then this one, this was two bucks, again. Cute necklace, and it also has a mark, which I can't read on the back. I can't read it. Where'd my mag, I don't know where my magnifier is, but it's pretty. Hello, hello, Juanita, how are you? So there's that. Uh, and this was also two bucks. Really cool, kind of geometric looking bracelet, like so. I've decided I want to get one of those hands because I don't normally model. 
uh, you know how some people model their yeah it's really deco isn't it they model jewelry on in their listings I, I don't do it for my first picture I wouldn't do it for my first picture but I don't want to use my hand because like my hand I can't I, I've described it as uh, you know it's very good for digging potatoes in Ireland <laughs> because that's what they were made for so they're really kind of wrinkly and freckly and they're not elegant so I need to get one of those fake hands <laughs> you know, that's what I, I'm saving one thing for the end so you guys can tell me hands because then it's like if somebody doesn't like the way my hand looks, they're like, uh, that's not going to look good on me either. <laughs> you know, that's how I think of it. Anyway, okay, I'm only really good so wait till the end. Alright, so I got these clip-on earrings. I've got, oh no, okay, we got to be fast. 10% 10, 10 left. Here, those ones, these ones, they were $2 each. So at this estate sale, I spent 50 bucks. Those ones, which may be Bakelite, I'll smell them later, because I have 10% left. Some little uh, micro mosaic ones. Hey, there's more. And then I have one more thing. It's pixelated, oh gosh, I'm trying to hurry. Some more little cameo earrings. Okay, okay, forget it. One of them just fell. So then finally, I got a gold necklace. It's 14 karat gold. Guess how much for? Guess how much? Okay, so then this. More than you might think that I would pay for it. So, I got this, if you can see it. It's 14 karat gold necklace and little heart. And the price on it was $75. But, no, I got it for less, I mean more than that. <laughs> I tried to get it for 20 but I ended up getting it for 30 so I still think I did good. I, I figured with everything else, averaging out, you know, being so cheap, you know, with, for everything, uh, I thought 30 bucks was a good deal on the gold necklace. So, because I, I did try for 20 I did. And she was like, no, that's like giving away money. I was like, I know. So then I said, okay, never mind, I don't want it. And she was like, well, it's half off, so it'd be 37 or something like that. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then she was like, I'll tell you what, I'll give it to you for 30. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> so 30 bucks, I did it. Um, okay, so that is it. I've got a bit of a mess here with this water that spilled out. So um, go over there and hit the, the thumbs up button. And I will be back at some point. <laughs> but I wanted to come say hey to everybody and uh, let you know what I found today. So... Again, have a great day, everybody, and I will talk to you later. Bye.